News at LaGuardia Airport. You have officials from the Port Authority of New York, New Jersey, who preside over the airport, speaking now for the first time. Let's take a listen. From Atlanta to LaGuardia, uh, veered off runway 13. It was approaching from the northwest. It was landing uh, is about 7,000 feet, approximately 45 to 5,000 feet down the runway. Uh, the aircraft veered to the left. Uh, it uh, never made contact with the water. The aircraft was carrying 127 passengers and five crew members. Happily, there are only minor injuries that have been reported. Uh, at this point, we believe two passengers have been transported to hospitals. That number may change. Uh, the uh, emergency response by the uh, airport rescue and firefighting, which is a division of the Port Authority Police, was exemplary. Four ARF trucks responded, plus a stair truck. Uh, Fourteen ARF uh, airport rescue and firefighters in total. Port Authority aviation staff uh, at the airport had 50 people on the uh, airfield. ARF response was in, uh, in minutes. The uh, Port Authority police and ARF uh, trained for this uh, repeatedly. During the last three weeks, there were two ARF drills here at LaGuardia for exactly uh, this circumstance. Uh, last thing I'll report is that we expect to open uh, the other runway 422 at approximately 2 p.m. Some flights have been diverted to Newark and to, uh, and to other uh, airports. Uh, as Ron mentioned at the beginning of this conference, the NTSB is, uh, is on, on the way uh, to LaGuardia. Uh, we'll be cooperating with them closely as with Delta. We're not going to speculate or comment on the causes uh, of today's incident. Uh, with that, I'll turn it over to Gail Grimmett from uh, Delta Airlines. Thank you, Pat. This morning upon landing, Delta Flight 1086 from Atlanta, LaGuardia, exited runway 13. The MD-88 aircraft was carrying 127 customers and five crew members. Customers were deplaned safely and moved to the terminals on buses. They have subsequently been reunited with their families and are in the midst of uh, going back home or into the city. We are working cooperatively with the Port Authority, the NTSB, uh, and all officials during the course of this investigation. The safety of our passengers and our crews is Delta's number one priority. I want to thank the extraordinary efforts of the Port Authority, our, the PAPD, for their quick response in this situation. And I also want to express Delta's sincere appreciation to our crews for their professional and quick response to help keep our passengers safe and get them to the terminal safely. Thank you. Uh, we'll, we'll, take, we'll take a few questions. As I mentioned before, given the fact that the NTSB is on the way, we're not going to comment on uh, causes, and we'll leave that to the NTSB. Pat Dolan. What were the great uh, good question, Pat. Shortly before the incident at approximately 11.05, two planes landed and reported, quote, good braking action on the runways. Uh, the runway, this particular runway, had been uh, plowed shortly before the incident, uh, and uh, pilots on other planes reported good braking action. Yes. Yes. Uh, I, I, I think the pilot did everything he could to slow the aircraft down. Obviously, the pilot and the co-pilot's uh, good efforts were reflected in the fact that there were only minor injuries. Yes. Can you talk about the buffer zone and the exist here in the plane? Is that buffer zone? Yeah, I, I think what you're referring to is what's called EMAS, which is a FAA-required area at the end of each runway at, uh, here at LaGuardia, which slows aircraft down if they o overshoot. As I mentioned, approximately 4,500 to 5,000 feet down the runway, the plane veered to the left, so it did not make contact with the EMS. Yes? Was there a discussion this morning about closing the runways, given how smooth they were? Can you tell us the Sure. The Port Authority is responsible for plowing and maintaining the, uh, the, the runways in a clean, operable condition. The FAA decides which runways are, uh, are used, uh, which uh, approach uh, planes and pilots will use, uh, and it's up to pilots to accept the uh, designation of the, uh, of the FAA. Yes, sir. Okay, with respect to passengers, the chutes, as we understand, did not deploy. Uh, the Airport Rescue and Firefighting uh, Division of the Port Authority Police was on scene. As I mentioned, there were 14 ARF firefighters on scene. 
Uh, you could uh, see images of those uh, ARF staff members on the wings uh, helping passengers to plane, and the passengers to plane were bused to a terminal here at LaGuardia. Yes? Uh, fuel spill. There was a minor fuel spill. Uh, the fuel uh, for a time was leaking out at a rate of about a gallon uh, a minute. The uh, fuel uh, uh, leak was, uh, was stopped. Uh, the uh, New York State Department of Environmental Conservation is, uh, is on scene. Uh, Port Authority ARF, Airport Rescue and Firefighting Crews, applied uh, foam and the situation is under control. Obviously, I, I'd also note there was a significant presence by the Fire Department of the City of New York, and we thank them for their response. Yes. Uh, not non minor uh, minor injuries yes minor injuries it, it was le level five we were uh, at level five staffing full staffing today and it was snow condition five yes sir. Uh, the plane did not make contact with the water that was happily that was never a risk today I I, I, I don't know I, I I'd be speculating Pat, I'm, I, yeah, it, was, it was on a berm or an embankment. But beyond that, I'm not going to speculate. Yes, sir. Minutes. Yes. Two more. Yes, sir. No, that's not what I said. Two, two pilots who landed in the minutes before reported, quote, good breaking action. I, I'm sorry, I just didn't hear the I didn't hear the question. Yeah. Sure. Well, look, the decision to allow planes to land, the decision which runway is used and which approach is used, is up to the FAA. Obviously, the Port Authority consults closely. Uh, we uh, had the right ARF staff on uh, uh, here at LaGuardia today, given the conditions. They responded literally within a minute, and the runway, that runway had been plowed literally m minutes before, and other pilots had reported good braking action. You know, ultimately, obviously, the pilot's decision to land. Last question, yes. I, I'm not going to address any of those questions. I think those are appropriately directed to the NTSB once they've uh, commenced and finished their investigation. Thank you. Thank you all.